Magpie syndrome, have you got it? Now magpie syndrome, there's a magpie look, is a very dangerous temptation to see something new and shiny and kind of go and chase after it instead of sticking to what you're doing. It's dangerous because much of our success in business comes from exactly the opposite, from sticking to something and following it through and not getting distracted by new shiny things like that magpie. I've drawn you some little pictures to explain what I mean. Often in business, we imagine success goes like that. Someone starts here and they get to there and it's kind of a straight journey along the way. That's a fantasy, it's not real. With the magpie syndrome, you don't even get there, right? If you're not careful, you can end up going nowhere or right back where you started, and that's no good. A more true picture is probably something like this, where you kind of make your way, winding way, towards your ultimate goal, because you keep dragging yourself back to that plan you made, and being disciplined about it. Now I'm John, of course, I'm from Smallfish. I'm a business coach, I work with tradies who want to grow and scale their business, and I run that program called the Tradies Toolbox coaching program. And part of scaling your business is doing exactly what I've just been talking about, is about making a plan and sticking to it, right? And I've underlined that in my notes here. And that's important, the sticking to it bit is the really important bit. Most success in business comes from having that stamina and sticking on the path, sticking to it, staying with the program and keep doing the stuff. Most of the stuff we do takes time. You know, we don't really build a website and get rich suddenly. We don't really hire a person and suddenly they're efficient and effective and we can go and sit on our yacht, you know. I think Gary Vaynerchuk is one of those internet millionaires who said most overnight success stories had 10 years of hard work beforehand. Right, so the sticking to it part is really important. So if you're constantly changing direction, you can end up going nowhere like Mr. Magpie, right? And of course the problem for us is that we're constantly being shown shiny things that we might like to go and investigate and play with, right? We're constantly being bombarded with stuff we really ought to be doing. We should be doing SEO, we should be doing AdWords, we should be doing Facebook marketing, you should be advertising in yellow pages, high pages, all those other pages. You should be doing Facebook advertising, you should be on Instagram, you should be doing email marketing, you should get an app, you know, you should buy this software or you should buy that software, you should advertise here or advertise there, right? There's so many things you should be talking about. That was really only marketing I was talking about there. Some of them are good things. Some of those strategies are good strategies. In fact, many of them have validity, you know, in our market, right? But you can't do them all. And if you continually change your mind and go off and try something new and then give it up and try something new, you're going to fail and you're going to end up back where you started. Right? Most of those strategies are good strategies if you do them properly, if you kind of commit to them and see them through to their end. Right? Hands up if you've got a website that you've built that doesn't really bring you many leads. Or if you've got a Facebook page, that ditto, you know, that doesn't really bring you much stuff because you know and you're honest with yourself, you're a bit half-arsed with it. Right? It's quite common and you shouldn't feel too bad, you should guard against magpie syndrome. So what to do? It's very simple, isn't it? You make a plan, you write it down, that's important, you stick to it, and you keep on sticking to it for long enough, right? Keep away from those magpies. You ignore all that noise, saying, try me, do this. Now guess what I do? I'm a business coach, and I help people make a plan write it down and stick to it, right? And part of what I do is say to people, no, don't do that, we've made a plan, stop fiddling about with the shiny things, stick to your plan. It's important, that part's important. I spend a lot of my energy reminding people that we've got a plan and we need to stick to it. Uh, and I've also done lots of work to make sure that the plan I help you write is the right stuff, you know? And I've tried to show you some of that in these videos. So here's my question for you. Have you got a strategy? Have you written it down? Go on, if you have, write me a comment and say, yes, John, I'm really clever, I have a strategy, I've written it down and I'm sticking to it. 
And if you haven't got one of those, maybe you should get in touch. See you later.